you guys. It's the morning. We're in Las Vegas. This weekend's F1, but we have a few days until the big race. In the meantime, we have some pretty cool sh plus a special surprise from me to you. Holy cow! Punch it in the mouth if it happens. Why is this here? I want to know. Okay, uh, marketing. I have a surprise. Marketing. I have a car reveal in today's video. Oh! I pulled the strings. A crazy, crazy car. I brought a crazy car. So today's gonna be kind of a crazy day. We're going to an airstrip to race cars, and tonight, dinner at the Hoover Dam on the dam. I heard that the airstrip. We are racing some of the country's most elite unmanned aircraft. So right now we're gonna head to Royalty Exotics, go see Houston, and reveal the car I brought to Vegas for the activities. My favorite car, you already know. You know, these red lights aren't helping your red face. My face is red, by the way, I have a red face. Okay, let's go. Go ahead, Tom. Oh, my head hurts. That's too high for I me. I have a surprise car coming, they don't, they don't even know yet. What car you got? Oh, you have to, have to wait to find out, it's a big reveal. But I don't like surprises. You don't like surprises? No, unless it's a little Fiat. <laughs> a what? A little Fiat. Oh, I thought you did something else. <laughs> it is back. Oh uh, what'd you have God. to get fixed, tires? Yeah, so our tire delaminated and it ripped out an entire strip of the rear tire, and if you come around the back here, it actually caused more damage to the bumper no. because, you know, at this point, it's not too bad. Oh. But the good news is that means that it wasn't the actual, what we think happened is that there was a bubble in the tire. Everything's good now, but we'll see. Oh. We'll see what happens at prom today. Apparently now you're racing on an airstrip. Yeah, that's that. Guys, how are you? Hey, Doing bro. good. Good to see you. Yeah, man. it's been ages. Yeah, I'm going up. I'm driving up with you guys. Okay, we'll meet you. We're gonna go get Dave's car right now. Sounds good. All right, we'll see you shortly. See you later, alligators. See you, That's Corey. I haven't seen him in like four or five years. We're getting ready. All this was built. All the infrastructure, temporary bridges, all the lighting, and of course. So in a minute, we'll actually be on the racetrack. I believe, yes, we're on the racetrack right now. So this is the actual track right here. Those are grandstands Dude, that's and all crazy. the lighting. Look at the Rolex signs. That's badass. <laughs> you got a Rolex on. <laughs> oh, it's covered. Hey! Morning, how are you? Hi, oh, brother. There we go, man after my own heart. Lambros today. Lambros. You're missing your roof though, what happened? Uh, it's, uh, I, I put it in the trunk. Uh, fair, 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 fair. Got a bunch of cars. We're here at Royalty to grab one of my cars. I'm chopping this bad boy, hey? Yeah, bro. Blip, 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 blip. bro. Bro, just kissed it. Gave it a little smooch, Vegas style. How are ya? You give it a little kiss, not bad. Not bad. Morning, buddy. Hey, my shoes and you match. I got the Ferrari shoes on. <laughs> got it. I like oh, your yeah, fit. Oh, yeah, right. Kiss. They just kissed a little bit. It's a Vegas kiss. Welcome to Vegas. Welcome to Vegas. By the way, in case you guys don't know, this is Royalty Exotics, and that's the Strip. So if you're in Vegas and you want to get the car and you want to drive the Strip, be a boss man, you know where to go. You been here before? No, I'm looking forward to it. Have you been here before? We came here, so we first <laughs> came here to the end of 2017. That kind of started our relationship like six years ago. I can't believe it was like that long ago we were here. It looks different. Concrete's a bit more worn, and so are we. Oh, we brought the whole crew here. Good morning. How are you? Oh, yes. We brought by to come see you. Yes, Dave. Missed you, man. It's been a week since I was here. I know. Hey, whatever happened to that F12 search? Got in trouble. Oh, okay, cool. Well, luckily, I still have one for sale. That's great. I don't need it. <laughs> is this your F12 here? Yeah. Dude, this thing is really, really sick. Look at this thing. It's a gentleman's driver. Yeah. Let me show you the inside. Dude, this thing is sick. Oh, it's got the same seats that I had in my car. This thing is nice. We need to reveal what you have here. You ready for this? Oh, I'm ready. You ready? Yeah. I love that the lift is up. God damn it. Ready? Yeah, show them. Okay. Three, two, one. You guys, we brought Goldilocks to Las Vegas. This Vegas needs some gold. We needed the gold Squadra Corsa with the Super Trofeo kit, ready to go the on lift, the rally today. And the today. lift up, always. Lift up. What are you doing? No, I, I you actually, did Dave. You did Dave dirty, bro. No, I did. It's not the lift. I lifted it, so now it's <laughs> not just a Squadra Corsa, that, right? It's a Squadra Stradale. It's a, it's, it's oh, a, a Squadra. It's a Sriracha. It's a Sriracha. Yeah. A Sriracha. Did you see the license plate though? 
Yeah. It's a cello. Do you like that? that you like funny. the cello? All right, well, let's put some heat in the engine. You know, I can't reach the pedals in this car. Oh, because the, the <laughs> fixed seat? Yeah, and I was like, yeah. I was like, sitting there trying to drive. <laughs> Houston's a little Toe tapping. Wrench. I got a little leg. <laughs> takes to drive a Bugatti. Imagine that, bro. Okay. How long have you had it for? Months. You loving it? Absolutely. How many miles have you put on it so far? Uh, Pretty good. towards the uh, airstrip. I was just thinking to myself how much I miss this car also. I haven't driven a car in like three weeks because, well, I've driven a car, but not a supercar. I did the videos where we were in Vegas and whatnot, but I wasn't driving, went home for eight days. Then I came back on the rally as a passenger, so I'm like feeling out of shape right now. Always forget how much I love this car and how tight it is. I love the way it handles. It's definitely not the fastest car I've ever owned. It's definitely the one I enjoy the most. By the way, I do really want to get one day an old school NSX. What a sexy car. Art and Santa worked with Honda to develop that car back in the late 80s. It still is one of the coolest cars ever built. What's wild is that car 15 years ago was like 40, 35, $40,000. No one wanted them. Now they've gone up probably three to four X. But I would bet in 10, 15 years that car will be much more than it is now. So it's still a good investment. But also just a really cool car and it's reliable because it's a Honda. Another really wild and crazy car is a TDR. This thing's driven almost 3,000 miles. Turn signals are crazy. They're actually in the top of the windscreen in the back, not down below. And maybe that's because it's in North America now. I'm not sure, but another wild car. That is so yellow. It's Dope. It's got that stealth wrap on it, so it looks matte. Love it. Apparently we're lost. We're turning around here in this random... This guy's probably like, what the hell is going on? We're we lost? Probably. Look at this. Where the fudge are we? Okay, this must be the place. Or we are lost again because we're stopping. <laughs> this is a show. <laughs> Nobody knows where we're going. Supercars and airplanes. Hey, whose wing's bigger, this wing or that one? Yeah, he wins. Not bad parking, hey, Fryer? We have wing uh, jealousy now. Oh. He's crushing it. Big wang. Big wang! So this is the world's shortest runway. It starts here and goes to here. I'll race you. <laughs> yeah. First gear. I want to basically first thanking you guys for making this incredible stop been planning this forever. This has been made possible by Red Bull. Invited us, all of us to go to the official party tonight. Once I walk into that Red Bull party tonight, that is it. I'm gonna go in too. I need to party a little bit. These guys don't have radios. They're, they're, 
They're doing this without radios. This is really sketchy. And they're in the road. There's a guy right there trying to film while actually on the track. S is for sketchy. Yeah, no, S is for sh show. We're going to learn our ABCs in this vlog today. <laughs> We're going in the McLaren GT, baby. Let's go. You want to do, do you want to do a run doors up? <laughs> was a very late break. Very Nothing's fast. Yeah, and heavy. And I can feel the weight of it when it drives by. It's like a oh, yeah. it. jet. <laughs> so I'm ready! <laughs> That's gotta be 300 foot. That is a lot. Actually, it's to, it that's stops long. here, right here. That look cool. That's about 300 feet. Yeah. Oh, that's it. That's the last one. All right, cut. And after that, probably what? Never allowed back here again. So what speed did you hit? Like 163, 165. How about fuel? Feel good. Planted, right? This car's just planted, this. bro. You don't feel. It feels like a GTR, but Dude. gaming your takeoff, bro. Oh, hit bro. A lot of traction, yeah. No, no, that it was. Sick. Hey bro, I got you. I got you, man. Uh, I insist. Yeah. No, I'll, you, stick, you go ahead. I'll stick it in yours too. Yeah, we'll dock. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Wait, I didn't pick yet. Uh, 87. Let's see, was it a good business choice or a bad business choice? It clicked for me already. It said it clicked for me. <laughs> yeah, it did. How oh, funny wait. is this? Oh, like. <laughs> <laughs> it's ripping. What's going on? This is the adult version of crossing streams. That was the first time I actually got it into fourth gear and actually held it for a while. I was doing 100 miles an hour doing this, doing this, trying to keep it straight. Oh, yeah, you're ripping. Where everybody, it was everyone standing there freaking out. I don't know, I was standing really, like this I was standing really far away like you told me to do. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Daddy, Daddy Damon. Daddy Damon. How's my gas go? Is it pumping? Uh, I guess. My mind's broken right now. <laughs> Only 21 bucks. Do I need a Venmo? You 20 bucks. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see if this one will work now. Oh, you gotta pull, you gotta pull that one out, dude. Here, we'll just double, we'll just go in together. <laughs> <laughs> you watch the same movies. That were good. Do I duck it on your side? I, I stopped, stopped yours. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say it out loud because of monetization rules, but... So I need a wife? Yeah, maybe. Think, is that the moral of the story? Or a shirt with red text on it? Something like that. Oh, oh, dogs everywhere. Oh, There's dogs everywhere here. Oh, yeah. oh, we gotta run. Think it's time. Thank you, man. I think it's time to go, guys. Damon just messaged me and said, hey, let's drive the racetrack. Remember, the F1 circuit is on the actual street, so we're gonna go right now and drive the racetrack. Drive the racetrack! Let's go, I wanna drive it. What's your best lap time of traffic, do you think? Dude, slow. It's like literally right now, dog sh It's been a hell of a week. Day one after a long drive like that, you're in a haze. It would've been nice to sleep in. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but uh, we're making videos for you because we love you, all of you. Except for that weird one, that one time at the rest stop. All right, guys, we're on the strip. We want to find the track. There's waypoints on the internet, but I can't figure that out. So basically, we have to watch for all the lights and the barriers to figure out where the actual track is. I think it's about three and a half miles. It's quite long. The long straight is obviously the strip, and it goes all around the hotels. It's pretty wild. They're saying that the driver's concerned that the cars won't be fast enough for the straight, so they'll be hitting red limiter the whole time. Fucking crazy. These roads, these roads are so bumpy. This is definitely not the track. Holy sh! What's going on? Up here or down there? Yeah. Oh my god! This is the Las Vegas strip and it's chaos for 
F1. There's a track down there. Guys, we were on the F1 track on this trip here in Las Vegas. How epic. I'm like blown away right now. This is so surreal. Caesar's Palace. <laughs> How crazy is this? That's so sick. You might recognize it, you might not. We'll get to that in a minute. In the meantime, Damon, how's your Vegas experience been? How's your, how's your throat? Well, it's Vegas. And to be honest, I'm sure you guys all know by this point, it's been a little disappointing. We didn't really want to voice our opinions or the opinions of the participants on the rally until we had gotten to the end destination and kind of got to see the fulfilled expectations that were delivered by the rally organizer. <laughs> and now that we see that really, it was all a fugazi, a fugazi here. It was all fairy dust promises. We're really disappointed, but hey, you know what? We're DDE, have definitely put up with a lot of yeah, a lot of people over the years, so we now know how to make the most of it. You take lemons, you turn it into lemonade. So if you're interested in more information, go to our Instagram account. We're not going to talk about that too much at this point in the video. You guys have already heard our story. Now we're going to talk about some fun stuff, which is cars. That's why we're here. We have an amazing car to go check out right now. Now we're in an amazing car right now. So let's just enjoy what we're all here for, which is, well, you know, me doing shenanigans in this car because I'm a real in the wheel. Oh, it's slippery here in Vegas. I noticed that too in the squad I was like, is it icy outside? Why is that? Because the heat, they have to do something different to the concrete here. I believe so. I believe they treat the surface in a way that with the heat beating on it all the time, the lack of rain, the oils and the rubber that get put on the surface from the vehicles, it just creates a very slippery surface. Yeah, I never come visit here on vacation around a car. Be, be careful. careful. Be yeah. careful, yeah. For real. All right, we're almost at our destination. We're going to meet up with this double god. And there's the man of the hour. Yo, Aaron, what's up? How are you? What up, bro? How's it going? Oh, yeah, your Bugatti. Yeah, nice. It's nice, two, Tate. It's two tone. Two tone. Two tone. I like it. So you don't so, like this color? I like it. No, no, I didn't say I didn't like okay. it. I, I do like it. In fact, I was gonna buy this car. I know. I yeah. Know. So I wanted to buy it. I found out Houston had got in it. I was like, I can't believe he got Strad's Bugatti. And then I was kind of going back and forth with him. Yeah. And yeah. then I called him and I was like, I think I'll take the Bugatti. And he's like, it's already sold, bro. It sold, it sold like yesterday or something. It was like the day before or a couple hours. Of course. So you know how these guys move. Even you guys, every everything's just traded around so quick. It, yeah, and it always happens like behind closed doors. Exactly. So it's not like there was this big announcement. Like, in fact, I don't even know if James ever did he ever say where it went? No. So he never said it went to Houston, he never said from Houston it went to you. He did like you guys, you know, at the gas station with Dave, how you guys kept it on the low and didn't really drop a name. He did the same thing. Right. I'm just happy finally I got to be a part of it. Yeah, you know what no, I mean? I'm happy I'm happy someone got it right. who really appreciates it and more importantly is gonna do what we say we're gonna do with our cars, which is drive them. Exactly. So basically it's exactly how James had it, right? You got the wheels still on it. Exactly. Are you gonna leave it the two-tone kind of gray silver? I am. Yeah. I, as far as I know, I am. I know that um, Houston had asked me if I wanted a different set of wheels and then it he would wrap it any color. Oh, I was going I for the upsell, is he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, no, salesman is salesman. I said, no, I wanted this color, PPF, and I like these wheels. Yeah, as a cool. matter of fact, these things don't even show dirt. They've been washed once since I got it. Is this your dream car? Have you guys always been the, the poster car since you're a little guy? I don't think I was ever little, but 
No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Come on, Aaron. Yeah. You see this thing? Considering this is the one that got away. Exactly. So I ended up buying a carbon Senna afterwards. I saw that. But which ended up actually costing me more than what this car was. 100%. I could have saved money by buying this. Isn't that weird? I could have saved some money by buying Strad's Bugatti versus buying a carbon Senna. I actually genuinely think this car has better long term upside because they made less of these cars. Right. They made 500 Sennas, right? But they only made 350 or 375 of these or something? Yeah, I mean, this is- Verons, they, they made very few Verons. It is, it's very limited. Being young, growing up in Vegas, Hondas, yeah. Acuras, surprising people now is impossible. Oh, yeah. Here, this town, you can't be, I have, a, I have a pretty extensive car collection, impossible to be original. This one, I'm gonna tell you, and this is new, this is two months in. This car right here got me uh, to a different position. I'd say the difference from like a, a Camry to my SV Roadster is the difference from the SV to this, which I can't understand because I love that car. So this is what we could have been rolling in instead of the Senna. Now I'm curious, how many of you, and I'm sure there's some of you that are genuinely bummed out now that I've kind of brought this to light that I didn't get this versus a Senna. Some people were like, why'd you get a Senna? It's so much like your 720 GTR. Now don't get me wrong, those people are wrong, but <laughs> the Senna is nothing like the 720. It genuinely is purpose built from McLaren with millions and trillions and billions, I'm a little exaggerating, but with a lot of money in R&D to make that car do things that the 720 or the 765 just can't do. Like it does, doesn't have the downforce and just the way that they tuned it and they do these little tweaks to the motor. So I think the Senna has a lot of upside over my 720. But this is in a different realm. You would be right if you were to say the 720 and the Senna do have some things in common. For example, they both have twin turbo V8s and they're both made by McLaren, which is the same brand. Where with the Bugatti, you just have, you have everything so unique. First of all, it's a W16 motor with four turbos. I will repeat that, there's four turbos on this and it's a W16 motor. It's a massive motor. And do you know how much power this thing makes? Yep, a thousand and one, but I think maybe a little bit more with the full titanium rift exhaust and downpipes. Probably like 1100 horsepower. This is also an all wheel drive car. So the Senna is also rear wheel drive. I would beg to say that the Senna is quite a bit lighter than this car. Oh, so yeah. I'd be curious to know, like I think we gotta bring the Senna out here and we gotta race Mr. Bugatti boy. Yeah. We'll go to a real racetrack where we can actually drive on a runway side by side, opposed to driving on a taxiway. Can we fire this thing up? Yeah. I, wanna, I wanna hear it. I'll let you fire it up, it's yeah. your car. It does have an exhaust on it. It's a titanium rift exhaust. Yep. This is special, this is aftermarket. Sounds like a jet. Yeah, Under yeah. load when you're going quick, it's just like <laughs> feel like when you drive these, yeah. does it not feel like it just never ends the power? Exactly. The way they tune these engines exactly. and the torque, it just goes and goes and goes and goes, which is what you need to do what this car was built for, which is being a top speed car. This car is designed with the other, you know, the OEM wheels and tires that they glue the Michelin tires onto the rims. To reiterate, these cars were meant to do 250, 250 miles per hour. I've done 217 and it was scary. And I did it for all of one second, I hit it and I let off. I couldn't imagine another uh, 33 miles an hour. Right. Holy crap. Let's see the old school gauge cluster. Now, I'm really looking at this as a opportunity to learn from my mistake. And then this is really cool, the way that they did the dash in here. But it's simple, there's not a lot going on. You have your gauges, your dials for your um, your heat and all that sort of stuff. And that's it, your windows. There's not an overly few buttons up top here, almost like Senna style, hey? It's got the panage of like a Bentley with the sportiness of a Lambo and then the speed of the SF90. Oh, and if you sure. like push the glove box or this back box behind you, it's kind of like a jewelry box. The light comes on gradually. It's pretty good for its time. That's actually pretty cool. I didn't know it did that. Yeah, me neither. The way that the light turns on like that. Well, there's such a classy yeah, and no, well fit me car. Right here, this is cool. If you get, if you get this right here. Yeah. And watch that. That is yeah, a, a lot of, lot of little. It is, it is like you said, like a jewelry box. Yeah, yeah. That is so cool. 
Well, thanks for rubbing it in. <laughs> hey. I'm jealous. The carbon Senna is insane, dude. Insane, it bro. Is. It I is. passed a Senna. It wasn't carbon, but I passed one. I maybe I passed a Senna by saying that. I mean, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to ask because I got to go for a ride with James in this car. Okay. Will you take Dave for a ride? Yeah, definitely. All right. Is there time for that? Uh, We're talking like down the road and back. We never have time, but we make it. Let's so. go. What Damon doesn't remember is that James took me for a ride in this car. I've actually been in this car more than Damon. However, his forgetfulness just hurt him. A ride in a Bugatti. Ironically, you guys, my first ride in the Bugatti was with Houston and his Bugatti. He got a ticket, a big ticket, a real big ticket. That was 2018, oh, six geez. years ago. And David forgets that actually James took a ride his Bugatti. He forgets that, so I'll take the advantage. <laughs> He's better doing the cinematic shots. I'm just here to talk shit. Many people watching right now, in fact, probably the majority, have never seen a Bugatti in real life. And it is definitely something special. I would argue that, I won't say it's in front of Damon, but Senna versus Veyron? Uh, yeah, I take a Veyron any day of the week. Don't let Damon watch this part. Don't, you guys do not comment. Do not tell Damon what I just said. No, I take a Senna. But uh, it is a really cool car. I remember reading some magazine, probably a Play, a Playboy, maybe Playgirl, no, Play, Playboy. They had an article on this car when it first came out, and it's like, it has 18 radiators and 15 turbos. I got it all wrong. But it was the world's fastest car, and that was a million dollars. I remember seeing like a million dollars for a car. It's outrageous, yeah. If you think about the cost this car new versus the value today, it's actually a good buy. I think so. As far as where the upside, the potential where they're going to go. I definitely think so. I've been thinking about doing something like this for a long time, not to mention all the vehicles, the upkeep. We try to do everything ourselves that's not on Carfax, and it's monotonous and a pain in the but you guys know. Houston pushed me into the idea. It was a it was a partnership. It was, it was something good for everybody. And you know what? At first, I was a little sour, and now I'm I'm ecstatic. I think that was great to to minimize redundancy was good. By, by getting this car, you mean? Yeah, to, to stop being like like the SF, the Black Series. They're, they're similar, similar in Yeah, they are, styles. yeah, for sure. But this is like, no one drives around in a Veyron. No, Bro, no like I finally get something different. Yeah, it, it is different in a sea <laughs> Without of, spending $5 million. And you know here I mean? in Vegas or Orange County or Miami, a lot of people have a lot of money and a lot of cars. So if you're in a smaller community, you're like, well, if you had a, a guy or you'd be the man. And you're, and you're right, but in this world, you go to car events, like, unfortunately, they're just common. Huracans, 720, 650, 570, on and on and on and on. So to have a Veyron actually drive it, I always had the dream if, if or when one day I cash out and I got a bunch of money, DD's sold or we've made some money off of it or whatever happens, and I ever got a Veyron personally, I would treat it like a pile of sh It'd be dirty, curb wheels, like a beater. Because <laughs> that would be the ultimate, like, you. That, yeah, that's what they say, it's a Oh, to the yeah. floor, scratches and dance, get out of it. Uh, Jeez, no, I, I mean, obviously, I'm being a bit facetious when I say that, but to daily drive a car of this caliber is the whole point. Like, they say if you can't afford to buy it in cash twice, you can't afford it. Correct. If you can't afford to drive it, you might not be able to afford it. Now, the argument to that is lots of guys that use cars as basically an investment. You can make money off cars. In fact, a lot of people we know have made millions of dollars. Uncle Raymond, as a result, he can't drive it. Because driving it will depreciate the value. It's right. only when you buy the car just for you that you can appreciate it and not care about it. Holy it doesn't stop pulling. I remember my first experience in a Veyron with Houston, it was the same thing. It's like, it feels like falling. It goes and doesn't stop pulling. You don't feel. Oh, I felt the shift there. And if you think about it, it's. it's... That was 5 over the limit. Oh, yeah. I, I... With a 7. Seven over or just seven over? Yeah, seven over, seven, you guys. Yeah, probably. We're just seven miles over the limit, which we're yeah. allowed to do here in Las Vegas, officer. Unless we head to Mexico, then. Oh my god. <laughs> How much fuel you guys burned there? Uh, That's a gallon for sure. No, nah, this is a uh, this is hybrid. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? It kind of smells like James in here. It smells like Five Guys. A pizza. Oh, he loves that. He five loves guys. Five Guys. By the way, James, if you're watching this, I love you. I'm sure whatever you bought to replace this would be more special. The windows will automatically roll up at 100. At 100? Uh, sorry, at 65? 
at the speed limit. Yeah, 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 of when, course. When you hit 5 over, the windows go up automatically. Yeah, I set it to 65, that's a trick, yeah. Yeah, he talked to Bugatti back in France and said, hey, can you make the windows go up at 65? That's right. You know, so, uh, you hit the Veyron. What's next after this? Where do you go from a Veyron? Uh, probably a G6. Dude, you know what's funny? As far as, as, far as maintenance goes, like having a jet, you like a Citation 550, those things are murder for maintenance. Like, Terrible. your annual is 85 grand to inspect. That's Not even to do anything. That, my ride in the Bugatti Veyron has come to a demise. Can I say something? No. You're a very humble nice guy, but you do park like a Bugatti driver. Oh, I know, I park like a <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. hey, hey. Like, two spots, nose out, that's how you do it right hey. there. You're welcome, that's your thumbnail. There it is, a thumbnail right here. Yeah. I do what I want when I want. Hey. Not the fanboy. Can we please buy this car no, for you? Nope. You want to sell nope. it? Yeah. I like, I like. I want to buy the car. Yeah, I we, like we the, actually the need the story this that you can't sell it, bro. So you're not going to sell it? No, I'm not going to sell it. Man, because I was really trying to buy this thing. I what know. if? I, I, I might it. give you first dibs if I sell it. First, my first dibs? Might. Might. First, no, this that's a handshake. Well, this is a hand. This is a hand. Iron contract. contract. This is a tickly hand. <laughs> Look at this Vegas, it's a desert over there. Yeah. <laughs> and over there and there. If you get rid of it, because it's still my destiny to fulfill my Uncle Mandy's dream purchase of a Bugatti. Throttle back! I you kill time here. Well, hey, oh, oh, there's the plane. I appreciate you. Yep. Still, keep me, if you're for some reason, or you're like, oh, I'm bored of it next week. Right. Call okay. me first. Yeah. All right. Thank you again. I appreciate you. Yeah, nice. Yep. Nice working it out. <laughs> tried to get the, I tried to get the key. My sleight of hand doesn't work. It doesn't, like, Dave's really greasy. He's the kind of guy I'm that would, I'm he's fasting. the kind of guy that would give you a hug. Hey, give and he'd get your wallet and There's everything. Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's taking everyone's Trying stuff. to shake my bling, bro. He's taking my bling. Yeah. That's oh. Starbucks. You used, <laughs> you got a wallet. Be Red Bull. What's your drink now? Celsius? My drink is Celsius. Celsius, same. Yeah. But you know what? What would you guys say if we made our own energy drink? Let's oh! Oh! <laughs>